what's up patio takes so very quick update i mean i always said very quick update but i always been like 10 12 13 minutes but uh might be a short video today i have two new fishes in here um one is inside the house and one is right here this guy he's new as you guys know this female is here because Efren went back to his owner and the owner took one of my parrot to go groom with um, his endo kenku so we're gonna he's gonna update us on how it goes um, and look at that pleco down there shoot pleco is crazy he needs some meat he's so shy of me every time I um, come out here or I do something and I look through the window he'll the pleco I would see the pleco eating up all the algae along the walls here and then as soon as he sees me he'll just go right under that log but I enjoy seeing the pleco too the pleco is pretty fun especially that one down there he would go to work well I mean this dude's bigger a lot bigger than that dude but that dude goes to work he go to downtown and this dude's sleepy he needs to go to sleep I've kept the light long enough, longer than their bedtime. This dude's always active. They're always active. But this guy is new. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of him. 20 bucks. Bought him at 916 Aquatics. And if you guys are around or in town or anywhere in the United States, you know, just hit him up, look on the website. Um, I bought this dude thinking that it was a female or hoping that it would turn out to be a female because before buying it it had all these characteristics of a female and it looked very femaleish but then it turned out to be a male i mean i've only had it for a few days or two days and the coke slowly is coming in yeah so Ephraim went back and this female's hair is just chilling and this thing is warm just chilling um, I'm hoping to breed her sometime in the future. She's a very, very hard female to breed and satisfy to pair up. So, yeah. I'm hoping that I could breed her sometime before she dies. Get a few batches or so. Because this is a very, very unique female. Yep, and this dude, um, so earlier before I came out here, he had a very long stringy poop. And I hope it's nothing parasite related. Um, fingers crossed on that. Uh, as you guys already know in the previous video before, I said my son was eating a piece of little chicken. And he tossed it into the water and this dude ran up real fast and ate it. So I think he's just having digestive, digestive um, issue. Nothing related to parasite or anal prolapse, but um, We'll see, we'll see, because he is too small and I don't want to inject him in with any medication. I want him to just kind of try to get over that stage. Yeah. And as always, Spidey is always looking super nice. Uh, man, I just enjoy sitting in my living room, looking out between these two logs or two, my bench right here and just looking at Spidey I'm just so glad I have him same with Captain Captain is he bounced back a lot when I got him if you guys haven't checked out the video the day I brought him back to my tank and try to recover him you guys should check it out he, he, he does not look like this at all he's a total different fish but yeah he looks amazing I freaking love him. He's super nice. I know you guys haven't seen King, and I said I bought a new fish, and he's in the inside tank as well. Um, he's in the tank that this guy is in, and I'll show you guys, and I covered it up on the side of where my son would not throw another piece of chicken in there. So hopefully he's doing good. I mean, I've only had them for two days, so I think this should be, he should, he should be doing good and there shouldn't be any problem my son shouldn't be throwing any chicken in there anymore 
but he's a one-year-old so he's not gonna know anything he's just gonna toss stuff in there and I'm gonna have to just figure it out but yeah these guys are looking fabulous especially this guy oh this thing is warm quick tip of the day if you guys are in sack in California or anywhere you get if you guys are doing tank outdoor setup like how I am doing or just outdoor make sure you get a heater that is warm enough for the cold temperature because tonight is 39 degrees in Sacramento here so it gets pretty freaking cold um, not to the point of freezing point yet, but it is pretty cold and you want your heater to distribute heat all around the tank evenly. Um, I've stressed it enough. Don't buy tanks. Don't buy heaters that are only up to the tank um, watt, you know. I, I forgot about this, um, what the... What the amount of watt per or, or per gallon per for per watt or for i forgot what it was but for the, these two tanks i have two 500 but it's because these two t heaters are whack because this 55 only has a 300 in there and it works amazing i don't have anything here because it's sitting here waiting for one special fish and when he arrives in mid-january you guys will see him he will be a stunner. He's a Confa, but I'm not going to exclude anything for you guys. Those of you who know, you know. But those of you who don't, be on the lookout for. But yeah, like I was saying, that's those are 200, uh, two 500. It should only be a 300 and the 500. Because that 300 is a saltwater heater. And saltwater heaters are crazy, crazy um, hot. I burn myself touching that heater um but it works good it works good for it and that's a 500 which is suitable for this because i have dividers and uh the heat doesn't travel nicely but when i have something warm enough and hot enough that it can distribute all the heat through across this uh, same with this this is a 300 um i guess i could slide through with the 200 but uh, 300 is a lot safer. This is a 300 watt down here, and this 20 gallon over here is a 200 watt. I have two big females in this side that I'm gonna be giving away, um, cause I'm just real homing for a friend. But yes, if you guys are doing outdoor tanks, get heaters that are a lot higher for your tank, or a lot higher than your, your tank um, heater should be like i think a 150 should be for a 40 gallon but or even i think a 100 watt but those are for tropical fish i mean these are tr tr technically tropical fish but they're hybrid fish um tropical fish as as into like betas um tetras um barb uh, guppies all those small nano tropical fish that it wouldn't do no harm if the degree drops to like 72 you know um but as far as these guys they need to stay i try to make the temperature stay around 84 to um 86 you know it, it may be maybe 88 too but 88 might be a little bit pushing it uh, unless they're sick like that dude um but that's why the heater is over here and she doesn't get any heat because he is getting distributed this way already but he needs direct direct heat to him um he kind of pretty much solves a lot of problem too so if you guys are looking to set up anything outdoor like i am make sure you get proper heater for your tanks because it will suck if you wake up the next morning with your water cold and your flower horn competition fish dies because i've had plenty of that but it's not due to cold water or anything it's just i had a blackout i had a blackout now let's go inside and i'll show you my new fish and an update on how king is doing now here is king king looks freaking fabulous 
I just, I just love how, how well he looks in the blue background. I should put a red one, but if I put a red bottom, it's going to defeat the purpose of having this tank down here, having lights. So I kept King here because he's my special fish and he's going to stay indoor until he dies. I mean, I might do a project breeding with him, but who knows? I've tried like three times with this dude and he doesn't know what to do. I mean, there's one time with the King Kong parrot female, but he did do some work, but it wasn't fertile at all. So we'll see, we'll see. My breeding chances with him kind of gave up, but he looks really, really good. Really, really good. And this is the other new dude. Freaking aggressive. This dude's aggressive. Oh man, why aren't you showing off again? I haven't found a new name for these guys, but I think this dude needs to go to sleep because um, earlier he was swimming around and he would just, I put my hand right here and he would just bang his hand right here like that, but a lot harder. Uh, but this is a new guy also from 916 Aquatics. Pretty good deals on these guys. If you guys want fish, head over to their place. New shipment and new deals, really, really good stuff. I cheaped out and got these guys, but these guys are pretty nice. Um, should have spent a little bit more to get nicer fish, but sometimes the prices doesn't match the fish. And he really caught my attention. All right, that is it for patio tanks. We is out. <laughs>shout out that um one of the admins from hybrid lover world asked me for a shout out so shout out to hybrid lover world thank you guys for the support and everyone who is in there who've watched my videos thank you guys for the support very quick shout out for you guys you guys are awesome i love a lot of hybrids and i'm glad to be part of you guys' team or in the group shout out to hybrid lover world